Cheers to you, Mondego. I'm not gonna do that, calm down. This woman, frustration truly is empty, yet satisfying. I, I had a, the Holy Spirit's laughing, believe it or not. Here's your situation, babe. Because I can always tell when you have a demon. You're like, well, yeah, I breathe too, so tell me something I don't know. Look. <sighs> Light is sweet, and it pleases the eyes to see the sun. However many years a man may live, let him enjoy them all. But let him remember the days of darkness, for they will be many. Everything to come is meaningless. Be happy, young man, while you are young. And let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart and whatever your eyes see. But know that for all these things, God will bring you to judgment. So then banish anxiety from your heart and cast off the troubles of your body. For youth and vigor are meaningless. <clears throat> Remember your creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years approach, when you will say, I find no pleasure in them, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars grow dark and the clouds return after the rain, when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men stoop, when the grinders cease because they are few, and those looking through the windows grow dim, when the doors to the street are closed. So basically, <clears throat> after nine years, I haven't switched up on you. Last two years, you've caused both of us misery. That's from God. I train prophets, so Vanity of vanities. You needed to learn. With my strong right hand, I will pull you out of hell. Again. Everything is meaningless without us, babe. So here's your situation. All right, so we're in Portland where we shouldn't be. And when everything is going fine, out of nowhere you attack. And you used to say, you love me, but you're killing me. And I'm... Your spirit was in the lake of fire. And I used to tell you, I said, babe, you haven't gotten out of hell yet. Like I pulled you out so many times, you have to get yourself out. God told you. So what we were discussing and the Holy Spirit's laughing about this, when you're working on your marriage, we're happy with you. When you're not, you will usually attack. And it's because the devil has your number. Two more times. The devil has your number. The devil has your number. Like you, you just, um, you're not a warrior type of angel. You're not a warrior at all. So you are easily taken advantage of. <clears throat> and we fight for you and shepherd you. And my anger lasts only for a moment. Nine years I haven't switched up on you, babe. God told you work on your marriage. That was two years ago. So men of God, I highly don't recommend you get into it like I do with my wife, but <clears throat> she likes it. I don't know why she just does. <laughs> then we both just stand there looking at each other. Are you done now? 
because we're two good forgivers and God brought us together. So me and my wife, we've been through a lot. <laughs> but we have each other's back. Fist bump, babe. <clears throat> so from what I have felt, there's the remnant, the bride that's taken into the air, and then that. It's not going to last because I'm not going to be a part of it. <clears throat> Judgments fall, they have to sometimes because rebellions uh, have a tendency to flare up if you don't crush them quickly. Things you learn when you're king, as king. Oh, gosh. Keep that one on. <sighs> The door is open. I'm not gonna do my usual intricate, take all this time, walk you around in a circle till you get to the door. The door is open. You're at least this close. Um, I'll get back to entertaining you. And then hopefully I scared enough people to not make certain decisions and they got back with um, me and God. <laughs> I'm God, you're God, we're God. It doesn't change. So somehow this demon had convinced my wife and this is how I pinpointed it because I've been praying for you this entire time. I had to do some freestyle work to put it in front of you. This is the difference. So I've differentiated myself from the church so much because of the reason of... Um, it's evil the church is evil now so my bride <clears throat> I didn't want to sit there and talk about the church because I had already made my decision you keep putting me on the shelf I won't be where you left me so <clears throat> I wrote a song about it and everything like it was a long time coming I was very long suffering I'm always long suffering For us, it's, um, those two drinking together. Wait, 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 wait. As soon as she starts drinking, she attacks him. Just, we got this. Then we'll speak to him and walk away saying, hey, Jesus, how's your marriage? Where's your wife? They want war. So <clears throat> the Holy Spirit is cracking up because it's like, and you want war with me? So we've been fighting over my wife for so long <clears throat> that I had to actually freestyle the entire situation just to show the words coming out of my mouth are intricately placed. It's not possible. Unless the spirit of truth is giving me the words. I even put a video there. See, I see the words, just like a prophet does. So anybody else's opinion should be null and void in your eyes, babe. Especially how well you know me. I'm not gonna steer you wrong. I actually fear God. I take this seriously. This is your life and your happiness. And the Holy Spirit was telling me, reiterate that one more time, for two years, You've just made both of us miserable because of your rebellion. So no, it's not scalar energy. Your spirit is in the lake of fire. I'm gonna pull you out. <clears throat> I love you.